science you can do right at home. I seem to have cut myself today, and I'm going over today's science file. And today's science file says, what makes up our bloodstream? Well, that's a super awesome question. I'm thinking, try this. Okay, first head to your kitchen and bring with you a container. Now, grab yourself some of these cinnamon huts. And you're gonna count out 600 of these cinnamon huts into your container. Ah, uh, this is gonna take me a while. Okay, next up, you are gonna get yourself some corn syrup, corn syrup. Okay, pour your corn syrup into your container of cinnamon hot. Make sure that your corn syrup level is at least one centimeter above the cinnamon hot. Next up, you wanna get yourself some mini marshmallows. You want to get yourself some marshmallows. Ah, uh, just one. And last but not least, you are going to want to get yourself some sprinkles. Now grab yourself a spoon because we're going to mix things up. Woo! The awesome wicked thing about this experiment is you get a super sweet science snack. <laughs> so, what do each of the things in this super science blood snack represent? And how many blood cells you got swimming through you right now? Well, the answer isn't here in your super science snack. You might want to take a closer look at this. Blood plasma is a yellowish liquid made up 90% of water and is what cells of the bloodstream move through. Plasma is made up of dissolved food, iron, hormones, as well as waste products such as urea and carbon dioxide. Red blood cells, or erythrocytes, are responsible for carrying oxygen through the circulatory system. The cytoplasm of these cells contains a chemical called hemoglobin, which allows them to carry the oxygen as well as give them their red color. Red blood cells are made from the bone marrow and live for about 100 to 120 days. You have about 33.6 trillion red blood cells circulating through your bloodstream. White blood cells, or leukocytes, are responsible for fighting infectious virus, bacteria, and microorganisms that get into our bodies, as well as cleaning up dead cells and debris. They are also made in the bone marrow and live for about 3 to 4 days, except during battle, when most of them are not expected to live past 72 hours. You have about 56 billion white blood cells, and there are 5 different types. An overproduction of immature or malignant leukocytes is called leukemia. Platelets, or thrombocytes, are irregular shaped cells that have no nucleus and are responsible for clotting the blood and helping healing. They are released when a chemical reduction in the blood happens, and in the average human, it takes about 7 minutes to stop a blood leak. Platelets can live for about 8 to 12 days and are stored in the spleen. 33.6 trillion? That's a lot of mouths to feed. But, you know, making your own super science blood snack so you can feed them all is why science is so cool.